All right, so when you think about the Ringling Museum of Art, you're probably thinking about a lot of their, uh, their galleries filled with paintings and pieces that are more of a traditional nature, but let, let's dispel that right now. They have an exhibit that is opening that is, it will, it will literally knock your socks off. Well, maybe not literally, but it, I, it will put your socks in question because it is all kinetic sculptures. So the idea that something that moves and makes noise, you know, if you're in your car and you hear something making a noise, that's probably not a good thing. But these are, we're taking that same principle. Something moves and makes noise and becomes a piece of art. Matthew McClendon walked me through one of the pieces in this new exhibit and, I mean, you have to see it. So I'll show it to you. All right, so when you first see this piece in this exhibit, it is like an ADD nightmare or Christmas. I have no idea which, but it is, you, you can't stop watching and listening. But actually, as we've been in here for a few minutes, it's pretty calming. It's like this white noise. So tell us about this piece and how it fits into the exhibit. Sure, this is a work by the Swiss artist Simone, and he is a sound sculptor. And I think one of the ways that he describes his work that really sums it up for me is that he has an interest in helping us to see sound. And when you look at a work like this, I mean, that is probably your first reaction. You are seeing what is creating the sound, and they're both equal to one another. Uh, he uses extremely simple elements, so very simple DC motors that are rotating or vibrating. In this case, they're rotating and very simple wire, all the same length, rotating at the same rate, uh, in, you know, in a straight line on the wall, very regimented. Mm -hmm. uh, but within that, there is a great deal of chance, and it kind of becomes an organic system. As the wire beats against the wall, or as the wires beat against one another, um, you start to get random patterns emerging. You can see already, this has only been on for a short time, and it's already starting to mark the wall. Um, so you get all kinds of random patterning that in itself is very beautiful there. So it's control or we have to a certain extent in terms of the, the chaos of, of the universe. It's full finishing the walls of the museum. Um, it reminds me of in old movies when they're tracing the call and the phone right. calls to go down. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so mechanical yet it's so beautiful when you get all together. Let's get a little closer and see where Matthew's talking about with the, the wall is getting is getting bruised even and leaving. And this is all just the randomness of of the the wires, right? Yeah, it's completely dictated by the wire. Alright, so how how much longer when when can people see this exhibit? This well, is just one piece of this exhibit. Yeah, we have five site specific sound sculptures and uh, it opens with Rioff, opening night of the Ringling International Arts Festival, October eleventh. So if you don't have your opening night block party Rioff tickets, get those soon. I don't get with it, people. Come on. Yeah, absolutely. I raised you better than this. It is the party, uh, at least the week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, it'll be up through January eighth. Okay. So, a nice long exhibition. so you have an opportunity to see it, and then you have an opportunity to bring people back a month or so later and tell them all these little tidbits that I told you, like you knew them yourself. Absolutely. All right, so check this out. Enjoy Panic and the Art Whisperer.